What's up everybody? So, we just got back from Best Buy. I wanna go return that fucking charger. Uh, that's probably the most expensive charger I ever bought and they were giving me a bunch of bullshit, but they gave us our money back, so whatever. So I'm here at the park now. Layla's playing in the back. She's in the swing. She's been wanting to go to the swings for a while. So, overall, Lake Tahoe was awesome. Lake Tahoe was fucking an epic trip. We had a lot of fun and we plan on going back and we learned a lot not only about actually Lake Tahoe itself but about like things we need to pack things we need to organize better things we need to do before we leave so the trip goes better so I noticed that a lot of times we always forget a charger or we always forget something of that nature so from now on we're gonna buy chargers that are dedicated to our travel bag so they stay in our travel bag or they stay in the Bronco or in the in the Mazda that way that bag just travels from car to car or in our suitcase or in our bags that we always have it that way we're not taking charges from home or taking any of this or that way all our charges are always there another thing we noticed is that um, we like not planning stuff anymore because a few trips we've gone and we've planned it out like minute to minute and it seemed annoying we didn't really have fun it was just more like keeping with the schedule trying to keep up and all that it gets annoying this trip and i want to say our grand canyon trip which we want to do again because that was really fun we had nothing planned we just drove there found our spot to sleep found our room and every day was we just woke up and left just explored and we found a lot of things to do and I found that way that you're driving around and I was just I was getting lost on purpose and we kept on finding new things to see and it's a lot better that way honestly because you get to experience it you get to explore versus following a schedule that can get annoying so that was two and then three which is one big thing that I need to do is that so Layla's getting bigger she's getting older getting a lot fussier so we took our DVD player and we took Moana that helped a lot but another thing that really helped and we had to keep on stopping was she just wanted to get out of her car seat she just wanted to get out and there was a few times we let her out while I was like on the highway and there was nobody to stretch her legs and stuff but to put her back in, oh man, it was a fight. She cried. So that's why we try to leave on trips like at three in the morning, two in the morning. That way if it's a long seven hour trip, she sleeps the majority of the ride. But I mean, it does suck waking up and being stuck in a car seat for another two hours. So one thing I have to do is find out a way to let her get up and walk around and I don't know. So what we're thinking of doing is our next big trip, which I want to say would either be Yosemite or Baja. Uh, we might rent one of those camping RVs for the weekend. Cause at least that way she can walk around, she can hang out in the back, do her own thing. Cause man, to get her up and to wake her up and then keep her in a car seat. Oh crap, that shit was fuck. I've never seen her cry that much and I don't blame her dude like she's getting older she wants to play she wants to see things and yeah so that's one thing we have to get better at which on that topic so yeah next trip's gonna be either Yosemite or Baja not anytime soon we need to keep working and keep on saving up for those trips but we do want to rent an RV and experience that at least once and see how we like it uh, either like and like a small rv to drive in and like hang out or one of those small little trailer rvs things i don't know what they're called but pretty much you sleep in them but you haul them and take the bronco and do that because i want to say yosemite is five hours uh lake mead which we're also thinking about that's four hours and then baja is four hours so either one of those we want to try it out the reason we don't want to take a full-on RV that you drive in 
is because we like to get places, set up camp, or get our room or whatever we wherever we're doing that trip and drive around. We like to explore, we like to drive around where we're at, we like to experience, you know, the towns, the little cities. And if we're in an RV, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to find parking everywhere we go. So that's why I'd rather haul one, like a small little just one where you sleep, that's it. That way we can park it, leave it at our campsite or our RV hookup or whatever and then drive the Bronco around and get to experience things and you know we get to see more. So that's one thing that we're thinking about. Another thing that we're thinking about is uh, maybe possibly, I doubt it, but maybe upgrading cameras so that way, excuse me, that way the channel can keep growing, that way quality can get better, that way audio can get better. So it's not always the same type of video, that way I can do different things. I can time lapse this one while I'm filming this, because right now I have this, I have the two light dials. <clears throat> two light dials are cool, they helped out a lot this, this trip, but on the light dials, even though they're both similar, they're still both different, so the settings are different, so I have to keep on adjusting settings. It's not like this one, the GoPro just, runs on uh, like auto and just does its own thing. These I have to really adjust do like because of the lighting and all that. So I'm thinking of just getting one main focus camera, like nice actually like point and shoot for our actual vlog and then have this one as a backup for time lapses, slow mos and any other b-roll. <coughs> but we're really trying to grow this channel. We're really trying to make things better for you guys. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Lake Tahoe was awesome. I really recommend it. If you're ever out there or if you ever need a vacation or something to do, I really recommend Lake Tahoe. I really recommend Lake Tahoe, especially if you have kids. Lake Tahoe has a nightlife, but it's not nothing like anywhere else. It's not crazy at all. You can walk around with your kids. We were walking around with Layla like at 10 o'clock at night to go get pizza, and it's fucking awesome. And Honestly, there's, I didn't see any shady people. I didn't see nothing bad. I have nothing bad to say about Tahoe. Tahoe was fucking amazing. It's beautiful. The weather was perfect. And it's crazy because I was telling my homie, uh, it's really modern what they have in Tahoe. It's like it's like being in a city, but like a cabin feel to it. It's fucking awesome. Like they have everything you need, but you really have to be looking for it in order to find it. Because there was times where we wanted a 7-Eleven or like a Jack in the Box just to get some of like coffee in the morning or something. If you're not looking for that Jack in the Box, you're going to drive right by it because it looks like a cabin. That is the most beautiful Jack in the Box I've ever seen in my life. Same thing with the AutoZone. There was an AutoZone there and I just wanted to pull in and get some oil just in case for the trip or some coolant. And I was driving around and I was like, what the fuck is this? And it looked like a motel to me. I thought it was like a nice little motel. It turned out to be an AutoZone. Pretty badass. So... You know, I really recommend it. It was a beautiful trip. It was relaxing. That lake, that lake is beautiful. That lake, I could sit there and stare at it all day. And those beaches are amazing. They're not like your usual beaches with sand. Their sand is different. It's really nice. The minute you treat, the minute you get dry, it just falls right off. It was awesome. Those beaches are beautiful, and I had a lot of fun. So we're thinking about going back probably next year, maybe for winter, so we can see it in the snow. But for sure, taking the Bronco, because putting the snow chain on the Mazda is a pain in the ass. So, I got a lot of questions about that. So the reason we didn't take the Bronco is because, one, that would have killed us on fucking gas. And two, the Bronco is a smooth ride, it's fast, it's reliable, but it's also not friendly to drive uh, for my wife and on a seven hour drive we like to switch and play with Layla in the back or whatever and I wouldn't want I don't I wouldn't feel comfortable and I don't think she would feel comfortable driving the Bronco through those windy roads and especially with that engine it's very sensitive and if you step on it a little bit too hard that's just taking off so that's why we took the Mazda because it's a seven hour trip it saved us on gas and it's a lot better for a long trip for her to drive and for her to help me out in like Yosemite, all those trips. Then we'll take the Bronco. Sorry about that. For those trips, we'll take the Bronco. It's not that far, four hours. That's doable. And. 
by, by the Burbank Airport. So, yeah. That's why we didn't take the Bronco. Not because I'm selling it or this and that, just because I wanted something more comfortable to drive. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, how do I say it? The way I find places to go is just, I honestly just go on Google Maps or I'll go on YouTube and check out travel vlogs or what people are doing. And if I like it, then we'll go. If not, then I'll put it on the list and we'll go some other time. But that's how usually how I find places to go to. Either through YouTube or I'll just get on Google Maps and search a place. And that's how I do it. So, yeah, for those of you that asked, just Google Maps or get on YouTube and see what people are going and see what cool things are out there. Uh, for this trip, it was between Yosemite and Tahoe. A lot of people said Tahoe. And I started looking at videos and I'm very, very happy I went to Tahoe. Tahoe is very nice. We're even thinking about moving there. Not anytime soon, but it's beautiful. And the houses aren't that bad. Like they're very well priced for how beautiful they are. It's a lot cheaper than buying a house here where I live. And it's not saying that I live somewhere nice, it's just Southern California is expensive for no fucking reason. So yeah, Tahoe was fun. We had a blast. So I think Layla's done. She's done? Yeah, so that's it guys. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Time to head home and get ready for work tomorrow. Alright, peace out.